we're moving the uh, henmobile to a new space because as you can see they kind of got this pretty worn keep coming you're good it's time to move the henmobile to greener pastures they've been here for about three weeks and um we had a, we had a lot of rain initially so the area you can see the area around closest to the henmobile got uh pretty badly eaten up even though the stuff farther away is still um, nice and green but that's why we have to move it every now and then this is where we're going to be moving the henmobile and if it looks like the grass and the right in the middle of this shot is cut really short it's because it is we discovered that the chickens like to lay under the henmobile if there's the grass is tall and they feel like you know this is, might be a nice place to raise a family so we try to make you know wherever we park it we try to make the underneath as unappealing for laying as possible the first step in successfully laying out your poultry netting is actually picking it up correctly from the last place where you had it so the big thing you don't want to do is roll it up you see how Mike is like picking up each of the posts and basically putting them all together in his left hand so once he has this whole roll picked up then he can go to the new area and lay it out before you stand it up you have to basically drop it where you lay it down where you're planning to stand it up so that you know how much you have and how it's going to cover the area that you have. We put in a semi-permanent T-post um, so that we can hang our little homemade gate on it, which is how we get in and out of the chicken yard to give them food and water and everything. When you put your first post into the ground, you need to tie it to something that's a little bit more sturdy. They do make step-in posts that you can attach them to for a little extra support. However, um, we use T-posts because we don't really find it that hard to just pound them in there and then move them whenever we need to move the chickens to the next place. And then this is how you lay it out. And basically we lay it out from the same spot and make a big rectangle and you can see here that we're gonna wind up with quite a bit of overlap here if you don't do it this way then you'll just wind up having to reset if you try to get it perfect then you're gonna wind up having to reset your posts constantly or reset the fencing constantly and that just takes way too much time in case you're wondering about that fencing that's already standing up and wondering why are we why do we have two two poultry nettings on the ground when there's a fencing behind it that's already standing up and that would be because the stuff standing up behind it is actually the electro net which is made for sheep and goats and the spaces between the vertical and horizontals are so big that chickens will fall right through those so you can't really they won't really do anything to stop chickens you really need to get the poultry netting for your chickens You can see the difference here between the poultry netting where the 
things are much closer together, especially when you get down near the bottom. And then the electro net, which is used for the sheep and goats. And the reason that we've got the electro net here for the sheep and goats is because the chickens follow our sheep in our rotational grazing pattern. So the sheep are currently grazing in that area, although at the moment they're um, napping under the trees to my left, but they do go out here and um, this is where they're grazing. And then once they're done grazing here, we will move the chickens in this area. Although you can buy uh, gates for chicken yards like this, we made our own. And um, you can see we basically used a cattle panel and then covered it with welded wire so that the chickens can't go through it. So this is where the one piece of netting um, overlaps on the other one and this is the end of it. And so this is how Mike is going to basically connect it to the other one. And there's a little clip there on the end that you just clip over the wire. And that's where it's actually connected. And then down here, he just kind of loops it over the top of that post so that they don't sag as much. Okay. Yep. So we are all done. We've got the fencing up. The henmobile has moved. Now we're going to open it and let all these ladies head out and start eating all the bugs and caterpillars and everything and making lots more delicious, beautiful pastured eggs. <laughs>